Hello YouTubers, this is Brandon Parker again with uh, another tutorial. This tutorial this time is another one in Sony Vegas. In this tutorial in Sony Vegas, I'm going to be doing uh, intros, working with text and fonts and stuff like that. So I'm going to jump right into Sony Vegas right now. And I'm in my virtual version of Windows on my Mac with uh, Sony Vegas. And uh, as I said in my last tutorial, motion blur and flicker, I really don't have any effects that I used to have. I still have them, but I don't want to install them because I don't really use this program that much anymore. So I decided uh, just I'm going to do away with them and just uh, tell you about uh, that there is other uh, plugins out there like the new blue effects and stuff like that. And I'll put a link in the description to try to get those effects and see if you can get them installed on your computer. Uh, I could do a tutorial on how to uh, use them a little bit if you want a, a tutorial in the new blue effects. But right now I want uh, a lot of people to understand the basics first before I go into the advanced stuff because a lot of people are telling me that Sony Vegas is very difficult to use and uh, not as easy as uh, they're making it sound like it's not really that easy. But it's it, it can it's kind of hard at first but it's not extremely hard or difficult even you can be with that way with the uh, final cut you can say it's really hard at first but once you do it a couple of times a couple of videos and stuff like that uh, it starts to get a little bit easier to you um, I'm like I said I'm gonna be working with text now and so uh, here's a little bit of a preview of what I did for an intro for uh, kind of a little bit of a, if you're looking for like an intro or something and now I'm going to play this uh, little video clip right in here. This is an intro that I made right in Sony Vegas. I've done a better one, but that's in Final Cut. But here's what you can do here in Sony Vegas. And here's what this looks like. Okay, this is what I did uh, just to get you uh, a little understanding of how text fonts and stuff like that work here in Sony Vegas. I kind of explained it a little bit in my very first Sony Vegas tutorial, but that was just an overview on everything and how to get started on a video. So then this one, I'm going to go more in depth into the fonts and intros and stuff like that into your videos. Uh, right, what I started out is I started out with my username. And what I did was I went into generated media, but first in order to get your text and stuff that you want, and you just drag them right down in here, like I'll go back here and show you a little bit, right out here in the corner. And the default uh, time that this will happen in is like in 10 seconds, you can also cut it out a little bit. First, I'm going to show you a little bit what you can do. I'm going to put my uh, the cursor on it. And I'm going to edit. What I'm going to do is you can do uh, different uh, type of uh, things with uh, text and everything. You could uh, have different kinds of fonts. Let's see. Here's what, what my username is. You could change the colors in here and everything. You could go to effects. You could go to right in here. And this is the outline. You can make it whatever color you want. You can have the outline bigger with the width, smaller. You can also feather the outline and make it a lot lighter and just show a lot less. Depends on what you're looking for. Go to placement and you can change the uh, way it's placed if you don't really want to move it that much. But I really don't go to placement that much because uh, the reason why I say don't go to placement really is because there's no need. And you can just do this. Go right in here. You go into event pan and crop. And you just go right in here and you go and you can just place it however you want in here. And then also too, because you're doing an intro to your videos, you're probably gonna wanna have it move at a like zoom in at a certain point. So you're probably gonna want it to first go back to this. And you're gonna wanna have it always zoomed out. 
or you want it zoomed in or whatever you just play around with this and anything that you do in here as I said in my first tutorial it'll happen at whatever time like say you want it to zoom in at this time it'll zoom in at two, two seconds it'll zoom all the way in to however you zoomed it in if you want it to zoom in like that it'll zoom in like that at the two second mark and if you do any changes in here it'll start moving to this zoomed in point right in here or zoomed out point right in this at this time and this is kinda how it would look like if you messed around with it a little bit and I'm just gonna chop it up a tad because it's it's a little bit longer than what I want to work with so first I'm gonna delete that and then I'm gonna shift B Make sure you press Shift B so you can view it without it lagging too much. Uh, Windows lags a lot, so that's why you get the lagging problem. You don't really get that in the Mac when you use Final Cut. Right here in Sony Vegas, there's a lot of lagging. Windows is not very stable, as as well as uh, stuff with Mac is programs are. But this is how it looks. This is what I just did. See. And if you want to get rid of that uh, cut off a little bit, make sure that uh, you uh, make sure that you don't uh, have any of it missing because it'll look like cut off right in there. You're gonna have to make sure that uh, the block is inside of it, uh, and, and none of the block went like. Make sure that the block is uh, centered inside, at least, because the block is uh, on the outside. Then it's going to not show it and it's going to be disappeared and you're going to wonder where did my font go, where did my uh, intro, my username or whatever went so you're just going to have to play around with this a little bit you can also add uh, just pretty much what you do with video clips you can add uh, transitions to your clips like I did here I added a cross transition, cross effect I just went to my transitions just basic ones and I went to uh, cross effect and I went to cross blur and I added a uh, cross zoom in a b slow and this is kind of what it looks like a little bit in here and you can also make it uh, you can make your uh, like you can make the text uh, kind of like 3d a little bit you just go uh, right in here and you go to uh, 3d source alpha and you can change it like anything that you change in here to change the look of how it'll look and everything you can make it lighten you can make it do all kinds of different things what I just did there is I blocked it out when I sent it like that so you kind of get the picture of what I'm trying to explain to you with the text and everything it's it's not as hard as people make it out to be and like right in here this is what I did I made a right here I made this spin a little bit what I did was I just messed around and I spin it right in here at this time and then it'll start moving around at this time then it'll start moving and moving and moving like that and and this is what it looks like I'm gonna edit undo the changes I did okay then I'm gonna show you that uh, I made it spin You can add whatever effects and whatever you want to your uh, uh, text and stuff. You could just play around with the effects. You play around with them a little bit. Just and if you want better looking text and stuff, you go to Google and you can search for some of them. You go to dubfont.com and you can get uh, a few texts and fonts and whatever crazy looking ones. It depends on what you're looking for. And if you don't know how to install them, I'll do a separate tutorial for you in that if you're looking for uh, help on getting some fonts to make your uh, intros uh, more uh, liven up and better and uh, cooler and stuff. And that's pretty much what I did. Was I just spinned it around at whatever time I wanted to spin. And just pretty much you play around with the event pen and crop and you mess around with it a little bit. And that's pretty much how you do uh making an intro and that's pretty much it there's not really much to it uh... comment rate subscribe and i hope you got what you were looking for